Hello everyone, in today's tutorial we are going to make this type of animation. You will learn the fundamentals of animation, some basic moves, nodes, keyframes, and how to render an animation. We will be animating the monkey head. To complete this tutorial you need to have some basic understanding of Blender fundamentals. So let's jump into the video. We don't need this cube. X to delete it. I'm gonna just use the monkey head. Shift A. Control Alt Numpad 0 to set a position of the camera view. G to move the camera to another position. Add the solidify modifier to get the smoother shape. Apply. What's next? I don't need the light source because I'm gonna use the emission shader. The emission shader can be used for material and light surface outputs. Go to the shading properties. We gonna add the emission shader. The mix shader. Plug this into the mix shader. I'm gonna increase the strength of the emission by about 12. Also, we need the color ramp shader. The layer shader. Wait. These nodes are used for mapping values to color and laying shaders. Don't forget to enable the bloom effect that gives a glow effect and the screen space reflections. Also increase the effect. I'm gonna bring the blend down. Increase the strength of emission. This effect almost is done, but I want to change the eyes color to red. So select these faces and add a new material. Assign this material to these faces. I'm gonna use the same nodes. Copy paste. Only change these values to make a glowing effect all the time. You can select the black color to get the result 
like in my first example I'm gonna choose this color let's begin the animation process go to the animation tab open the shader editor because we will edit the shader in the animation effect I'm gonna add the mapping shader. This this shader I can re reduce the color intensity. Turn off this color and keyframe the first frame with the eye button. As you can see, two yellow spots appeared in the dub sheet. A keyframe is a simple marker of time which stores the value of the property. Now let's go to the last frame at 250 and change the value of scale press the i button if i want to see my animation i can drag along the timeline you can see it is working fine Let's make this animation more interesting and add a rotation animation. Keyframe the first frame with I button on the keyboard. And then go to the last frame, rotate it on the Z axis at 360 degrees and press I rotation now you have a simple animation if you want to make this animation more interesting you can add the light flashing animation effect like this just go to end frame you want and add a keyframe the color at maximum brightness another color at minimum brightness A few corrections. That's it. You have the blinking effect. Let's do the same at the beginning of the animation. A few corrections.
now we are ready to render and export this animation. To render the scene, go to Render Properties. I'm gonna use the EV rendering engine and leave the default settings. This is file format menu for the animation rendering. I will be using a picture format. Each frame will be rendered as a separate image. The picture format is good because you can stop and resume rendering any time. Now you can render the animation. You can see the progress of animation rendering or in the temple folder in your computer. As I mentioned, all rendered images are in the temple folder. To make a single movie file from all images, change the editor type to the video sequencer. We have the timeline. So to add the images, press Shift A. Find our rendered images. Select all images with A button and add image strip. We have all images in our sequence editor. Find the last frame in my citation. It is 250. Now go to the output properties and set up the file format. It has a few different movies formats. I'm gonna change to 50 FPS. Go to render and click on the render animation. The rendering will be faster because all images are already rendered only need to output all images into a single movie file. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Don't forget to subscribe.